All right, guys, I am currently leaving the city of Toronto to head to Rice Lake, Ontario. My family has some property out there that they're currently selling, and uh, there's a vacant house there that I can take advantage of. Um, obviously, I won't be using the house because I'm going to be doing some astrophotography, um, but I will be using the property there and the dark skies to shoot the Elephant's Trunk Nebula. I've shot the Elephant's Trunk Nebula with my 6SC telescope using the ASI 294 camera, and I've gotten some pretty good results with that, um, but I obviously want to try getting a more wide field view. Um, that's what the Raza is great for. And I'm also trying to resolve some issues that I've seen with my Raza. In my star cluster shot that I took recently, I noticed that about one-tenth of my image is uh, out of focus. And uh, this is usually related to tilt problems in the system. Um, and I think it's related in my system to the uh, star zona filter tray and the Raza 8-inch retaining ring. Um, so hopefully I'm able to resolve that issue tonight and get a flat field, um, but we'll see what I can do. Anyways, let's head to uh, Rice Lake, Ontario, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Uh, both my telescopes are in the back, though I only plan on using one tonight. Uh, I'm going to be leaving the rest of the equipment up at the RV because uh, in about 10 days or so we're going to be living in that RV full time. Um, I know I've talked about this in the past, but I haven't really touched on it recently. Uh, but we're going to be taking that RV and going across country for a year before settling back in Ontario to try to find a place to live. Um, so yeah, that's the, the plan for tonight is to go pack up that RV and, and see if I can get some shots while I'm out there. Alright, I've arrived. Now it's time to open up the trailer, get some grub, and then start my imaging session. I haven't been back to this trailer in a while, so hopefully there's no mice. Let's turn on some lights here. It's looking pretty good. Thankfully that's not uh, droppings, but screws. So let's talk about the tilt issue that I've been experiencing. In the past, I actually haven't been able to open my filter drawer when it's attached to the Raza. I have to unscrew it slightly and then I'm able to pull out the uh, filter tray. And what it's causing is uh, out of focus stars on probably about one tenth of my images on just the sides. I was speaking with uh, Celestron and they said that there's a new retaining ring that they're offering uh, for people who are having this issue. Uh, but unfortunately, because of COVID, uh, they can't release that or, or manufacture it in the next few months or so. So I'm going to have to wait and come up with my own example. All right, so I'll show you the problem as it exists now. If I screw the filter tray onto the Raza telescope here, all the way, you can see it's nice and snug now. I'm not going to tighten it anymore, but I'm unable to pull out that filter tray. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try to raise it up a bit by using these spacers here and hopefully that will allow me to uh, get a better focus across my full field and uh, resolve that issue that I was talking about with the tilt. Alright, so I'm going to introduce four or five spacers here and screw the ZWO camera back on. Now it's nice and snug, let's see if we can pull up that filter tray. Oh nice, I can. All right. Let's leave that as is. I'm going to start taking some subs and see if uh, my stars are in focus all the way through my frame. Um, if not, I'll do some adjustments from there. But uh, so far this is looking good. Let's get the dew shield on and the cover and uh, wait for the sun to go down. Alright, so I am all set up and I'm about to start my night. One thing I noticed about being in the country is, uh, and actually closer to the road, 
um, instead of being packed in my backyard, is uh, cars will stop by and see what I'm doing, which I haven't had done before. So hopefully that's not too much of an issue and hopefully they're not shining their lights into my telescope. I'm set far back enough in the uh, driveway that that shouldn't be an issue. And I also have my truck in front, uh, just in case. But yeah, as I said earlier, I'm gonna be shooting the Elephant's Truck Nebula. It's already in the sky, but I still have to wait for the sun to go down before I'm able to shoot it. Um, but once that happens, I'm gonna be pointing towards the north and uh, taking a lot of subs. Um, this is a Bortle 4 zone, which is definitely a lot better than I'm used to shooting. Um, but I'm still going to be using my Celestron light pollution filter because where I'm pointing towards, towards the north, is uh, where there is some light pollution. There is a, a town just uh, north of here. I still need to balance my telescope and get polar alignment, so I'm going to do that now before the sun goes down. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy what you see, and hopefully I'm able to get some good data on the Elephant's Trunk Nebula. Sorry I'm filming this on my GoPro right now, uh, all my other cameras are being used. The Canon is doing a time lapse right now, and uh, the ASI 294 is currently doing uh, 120 second exposures on the Elephant's Truck Nebula. I've taken a look at my first few frames, and it doesn't look like that uh, out of focus star issue is happening. Uh, those spacers seem to be working, but once I stack all my data together, I'll see if that issue still persists. If you have seen some of my videos before, you might know where I am right now currently in our RV. Uh, this has been stored away for the winter uh, at my mom's place here at Rice Lake. And yeah, our plans were to open this up uh, a bit sooner, but the whole COVID-19 thing happened and uh, that kind of postponed some of our plans. Um, but at the end of the month, we do plan to uh, take the family, get rid of the house, and uh, live in this thing for a year. Um, we're going to take this across Canada, all the way to BC, and make many stops along the way, seeing all the sights and sounds that Canada has to offer. And uh, that means that it's going to be me, uh, Alex, Lauren, and two cats uh, in this RV for a full year. We're pretty excited. Um, the trial that we did last fall for a few weeks went great. Um, we made so many good memories and uh, I was able to get a lot of good astro shots as well, so that was a plus. Um, but yeah, we would like to continue that and uh, try it out for a year, see how it goes. If it gets a bit cold, uh, we're going to dip down south for the winter into the States. Again, if the whole COVID-19 thing is under wraps and uh, places are open and borders are open. Um, but yeah, we would like to skip the winter and then come back up here in the spring and then try to find a place to live in Ontario. Anyways, the only thing I need to do now is sit back, relax, and uh, collect data on the Elephant's Trunk Nebula. Introducing those spacers onto my Razzit telescope didn't fully resolve my out-of-focus stars at the corners of my image. Regardless, I was able to process a beautiful final image, and after cropping, I was left with this.